how to wire relay fog lights. Regular headlights, contrary to popular belief, are mostly so other people can see your car. They can illuminate the road ahead of you, but the vast majority of drivers are in a well-lit urban suburban areas. That reflected light is for the most part, going to come from city lighting sources. Having said that, you want your regular headlights on whenever it's cloudy or during any precipitation. If you're in an unlit area, on an undivided road, flip your fog lights off for oncoming traffic. You don't want to blind the other driver. The etiquette rules for fog lights are the same as for bright high beams. It is for this reason that we present here the proper way to wire a fog light systems. In here we also present the two methods of connecting or arranging the fog light, which is positive or negative trigger. Let's analyze this circuit. We can see the two separate circuits, which are meant to be studied separately. So, we either use one circuit or the other. To the far left we can see the power feed and the 12 volt fuse. Remember to use a fuse twice the current rating for the circuit. On the top circuit, power then flows from the 12 volt supply, though the fuse and to terminal 30 of the relay. The other side of the contacts, or terminal 87 is connected right to one of the fog light terminal. The other side of the light is grounded. This way of activating the fog lights is the same for both connection, what's different is the way the relay is activated. The reason for showing two separate connection schemes is due to the fact that your vehicle may have a switch that provides either a positive or a negative output. So we'll then go to the top relay coil wiring. Here we see power at the fuse, then to one side of the fog switch, the other side of the switch goes to terminal 86 of the relay coil. Then, terminal 85 of the coil is grounded. In this wiring arrangement, whenever the relay is closed, a positive output is applied to the relay coil, which is already grounded. Once activated, a voltage is fed to the fog light and current flows, illuminating the road. The bottom circuit is meant for a fog switch that has a negative output. If using your own switch, then either circuit will work. In this negative trigger switch, terminal 85 is wired to the 12 volt fuse. Terminal 86 then is wired to the switch, which is then grounded, seen here to one leg of the fog light. Like the previous circuit, the other side of the fog light is connected to terminal 87 of the relay. Both circuits provide a positive output to the fog light, but the way they're triggered is what differs. Rest assured that this circuit will provide many years of service.